Hey folks, Luxanda Swirl here. Um, today is my day, or one of my days, to do a bunch of different, I hope, wrapping tumbler videos. Um, <laughs> put aside the one that I started that's not going so well, and we're gonna move on to fabric. <laughs> the other one was tissue paper, and I my tissue paper is, I mean, it's, it's not even tissue paper, it's, it's like air with a little paint on it, so, a hint of Mod Podge on it and it just disintegrates. Um, not exactly high quality tissue paper. So that may never see the light of day, but I'm hoping fabric goes a little bit better. I have ordered a few beautiful fabrics off of Etsy. This is one of them. I opened the package up just now and I was initially a tiny bit disappointed because this is the entire width. Somehow I thought I was gonna get a little bit more. I mean, it goes on for a while but it's, it's a strip and I didn't realize that. But all is not lost because when I put my, see, I'm so bad at visual measuring. I'm terrible at visually estimating distances and measurements. So when I put my 30 skinny straight down on it, it actually fits perfectly top to bottom. And since we're gonna cut off a strip at the top and the bottom anyway, using our edging tool that I'll show you later, uh, this this is fine. This is absolutely fine. So, and I can make a whole bunch of cups out of how long a strip this is. So yay, all is not lost. So that's what we're going to do. We are going to start by cutting off a smaller piece because there's no, no point in working with all of this. It's just cumbersome and I don't need all of that. So I'll wrap it all the way around and give myself some overlap and then cut it off. That seems like a Good place to cut it, right here on this fold. Same principle as an acrylic skin wrap or any other kind of wrap. You're gonna use Mod Podge, wrap it around like that. Uh, Mod Podge underneath to hold it on, smooth out the wrinkles, and then Mod Podge over the top to start in multiple layers of Mod Podge, but at least one to start before we address uh, cutting off the excess at the top and the bottom because you want it to be uh, much stiffer than this so it's easier to cut. So, having said that, I am going to begin. I have my Mod Podge here. Picked this up for about $4 at Walmart. And I have a foam brush for ap application purposes. And I am just gonna start applying and rolling and smoothing and and here we go. This is a 30 skinny straight. Not sure if I mentioned that. And what that means is there's no taper. So as long as I start straight, we should end up in exactly the same spot at the other end, meaning that if I, if I don't line it up straight, we'll lose our straight edge along here and along the bottom, and we might, we might show a bit of metal. But it looks like I got it on there straight, so we're in good shape. I'm just gonna keep applying Mod Podge and rolling things along. Okay, and there we are. You can see some of the seepage of the Mod Podge, but again, we're gonna be putting Mod Podge on the outside of the cup right now, as a matter of fact. I'm gonna go around and make sure I don't have any great big wrinkles anywhere. Actually, I'm gonna put my glasses on and then I'm gonna go around and make sure I don't have any wrinkles anywhere. That looks really good to me at this moment. And uh, normally I would not want to Mod Podge down my overlay or my overlap flap, but in this case I do because again, I want to stiffen it up so this is all easy to cut off. We're gonna cut a straight line down here 
And then we can peel off this part and we can peel off this part. So here we go. Okay, we'll be back when this dries. Stay tuned. Okay, so our layer of Mod Podge under the fabric and on top of the fabric, both layers have dried. I am now going to address our overlap by cutting a straight line down, peeling out the excess, and hopefully the two sides will meet nicely together. Hopefully. Okay, I'm gonna use my straight edge. And I'm going to press down hard because I'm going through two layers of stiffened Mod Podged fabric here. And just go down the same pathway here. And make doubly sure we did it. Okay. I could feel the cup under there, so that should be all right. Oh, come on now. All right. Now this top one should come off pretty easily. Now I need to Mod Podge these puppies back together, but that actually looks okay. Maybe not great, but pretty good. All right. Uh, I also want to do the top and the bottom. I wonder if I should do that now before I put any more Mod Podge on things. Start by cutting off as much as I can up here so I can set this down flat on my edging tool. My edging tool. I think, let's see if this is going to not going to give me much of a lip. Let's see how it is. If, if I don't like it, I can add more washers and raise the blade up. Let's, let's do this to start. All right. You push against, you can see this, you push against the blade with the cup and turn the cup at the same time. Cutting a straight edge cleanly, hopefully, through your fabric all the way around. Hopefully. This little flap at the bottom here is being difficult, or at the top. So I'm not sure that took. In fact, I may just do this again. if that worked. Huh. Maybe time to change my blade again. I'm gonna go get my screwdriver, hang tight. Okay, here we go. This is how you either change the washers or the blade. You can hold on to the nut on top and use your screwdriver to loosen things up like so. And then just hand unscrew the washers or the uh, the top nuts, I guess they are like that. Take the blade off. I'm going to add a couple more washers to raise the blade up. And you want to add equal numbers to each side, so I'll put two there and two there and I'm going to change the razor blade at the same time. Let me do that by 
taking the blade out. I will wrap this up in tape so it's safely thrown away and won't hurt anybody. They send along uh, a couple replacement blades, but these are standard size razor blades, single edge razor blades. So you can get a pack of 100 of these at Walmart, at Home Depot or Lowe's. Uh, Amazon, I'm sure, sells them. Like I said, they're standard size. So anywhere you find single edge razor blades, you don't have to reorder from this company or anything like that. We're gonna put this on here, put the blade in, put this on top. This is where I cut myself usually. <laughs> there we go. Put the razor blade back in there so it's all set in place and then put these back on and screw them tight. Okay, so there we have a nice relatively clean edge going around the top. So now we get to do this part. And I'm gonna just try and turn this under so I can set the cup down as flat as possible. And use my edging tool again. And we'll start at the seam. Push the cup against the razor blade and turn. Here we go. Next layer coming up. And I want to get coverage between the metal and the cloth. That the, the idea here is Mod Podge keeps the epoxy from soaking into the cloth or underneath the cloth, which will create ugly looking stains or what looks like kind of an oil slick. You really, you're, the whole purpose of the Mod Podge is to keep the epoxy away from the fabric. And then I'll decide if I want to Mod Podge the top and the bottom and um, add glitter to it. Stay tuned. Hey, we are back with our fabric tumbler. I'm going to put on another layer of Mod Podge, but I am also at this point going to add some glitter to the top and the bottom. <laughs> to the top and the bottom. Uh, I've decided to go with Peachy Olive Glitter's Weekend at Bernie's. Obviously, because of all the colors in here, I could have chosen pretty much any color of glitter and it would have matched somewhere. But I think uh, this glitter matches beautifully with the spots of turquoise in the, in the fabric pattern. So that's what I'm going to do here, is put on Mod Podge and glitter. And before I do that, I'm gonna put down a piece of paper to catch my glitter that isn't already covered with glue. Okay, fresh parchment, glitter, that is open, and um, Mod Podge just the top and the bottom here. <laughs> I should probably, I know I could tape it off, couldn't I? <gasps> Let's do that.
Okay, this is just for glitter application. Uh, when I do more layers of Mod Podge, I will have the tape off and the Mod Podge will go everywhere, but this is, this is for the glitter part. All right, that coverage looks pretty good. I am going to put it like this back onto the Dollar Tree paper towel holder and put it aside to dry and then I will peel the tape off, probably spray seal it just to keep the glitter in place and then uh, start Mod Podging the entire cup. Multiple layers before I put on a layer of epoxy resin. Stay tuned. And we're back. Okay, I just took this off the turner from applying a coat of sparkly resin. Uh, so, I, this, is, this is beautiful. I am in love with this. Between the patterns and all the colors and how beautiful that gorgeous uh, Weekend at Bernie's glitter is from Peachy Olive Glitters. Try and hold. I'm trying to get this close, but at the same time, I'm trying to hold it so you can see the whole thing. Can't do both. I do see some imperfections. It's amazing how once you put a layer of epoxy on, it hides some things and it accentuates others. For example, the seam line is very obvious. Uh, actually, but you know, holding it back here, it's really having trouble there. Uh, but holding it back here. It's not, it's not very obvious. Uh, so anyway, I think this is a huge success. I am a, now a new fan of fabric tumblers. I think they're gorgeous. I'm not sure what to do with this. I'm not sure what kind of decal to put on it or just leave it as is and put somebody's name on it if they want their name on it. I mean, it is gorgeous. What do you think, folks? Is there anything about my uh, fabric tumbler method that you would suggest I don't do or do differently? Anybody who has experience with fabric tumblers, jump in here and give me some pointers. Thank you all for watching. Stay safe. I'll see you in the next video.